Hi friends. Today we're going to read Rose's Big Bridge Experiment. Are you ready? Let's get started. Look! Exclaims Rosa. I've built a bridge. A bridge connects two places together, says Roman. Look at this! Exclaims Gina. I've built another bridge. Ha <laughs> ha! I think that's called a tunnel. Laughs Marley. Let's build a bridge across this stream for our vehicles, suggests Gina. What kind of bridge shall we build? Asks Marley. The water's moving fast, says Rosa. And it's cold, laughs Roman. Oh, look at the dog! It's barking at the stick. The bridge has to span the width of the stream, says Rosa. How wide is it? I'll measure with my net, replies Roman. I've made a suspension bridge, says Gina. It's too wobbly, Rosa laughs. Sand is made of tiny particles of rock, so it should be very strong. What about an arch bridge? asks Marley. Well, that didn't work, says Roman. But the bridge is crumbling. The bridge has to be stable to carry any weight," exclaims Marley. "What about this bat?" asks Rosa. "We could build a bridge at the end of the water," says Rosa. "But will it get washed away?" "Like my flip-flop," giggles Gina. "That's no good," says Gina. The water has washed away the sand, and now the bat is floating away. We can't balance the wood on the bucket, says Roman. Let's test it out, says Rosa. Oh no! Snowy Dog is stuck, shouts Rosa. Let's build a bridge and rescue him, suggests Marley. Quick! exclaims Rosa. Emergency! These big rocks should support our weight," says Marley. "What else can we use?" asks Rosa. "This plank should be long enough to reach Snowy Dog," says Roman. "To the rescue!" laughs Marley. "These stepping stones make a great bridge!" exclaims Gina. "Oh, Snowy Dog!" smiles Roman. "You're safe now." Teamwork! Shouts Rosa. Did you enjoy our story? I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye, friends.